Hi, I'm Dave Schneider here for IEEE Spectrum in my downstairs bathroom uh, to show off my latest project, a home water use monitor. Before I explain how it works, let's just give you a demo of it in use. First thing, the screen. So we have a server, a Raspberry Pi, actually out on the porch serving this web page. Now, Let's turn on some water. So every 10 seconds, um, the web page will refresh. And for a portion of those 10 seconds, it'll monitor usage. So we've jumped up here to a flow rate of 10, kind of arbitrary units at this point. We turn down the flow to a mere dribble. We should see on the next update something lower. And we do. Okay, here's the system. At its heart is a two-axis magnetometer, a little breakout board from SparkFun, uh, which is attached to this Arduino Uno on the blue circuit board at the left. At the right is a level shifter board. The data is sent at RS-232 levels over this 50-foot length of telephone cable uh, to another little red uh, level shifter board, uh, which in turn shifts it down to 3.3 volts for the Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi is connected to my local area network wirelessly and broadcasts a web page showing the um, water usage. Power comes from these two wall warts. The one at the top powers the Raspberry Pi. The one at the bottom, through that 50-foot telephone cable, powers the Arduino. That's it. We're going to put that sensor a little bit of masking tape. Just to kind of protect it. Let's see if we can get her in there. Kind of nasty. Okay, the magnetic sensor is now sitting on the side of the water meter, held by a rubber band, which you can just barely see. And from that position, it can sense subtle changes in the magnetic field. These are caused by internal parts of the water meter. There's a, a magnetic coupler uh, going from the the wet side to the dry side with uh, all those gears. And as that uh, magnetic coupler spins around, it causes these undulations in the magnetic field that the sensor can pick up. The Arduino has to do some processing to clean those up, but it translates it to a, a speed or a rate of water flow and sends that over the cable to the Raspberry Pi. And the Raspberry Pi, for the moment, is just sitting literally on my porch. Uh, plugged into a power outlet. Um, what, you might ask, happens when the flow rates are really significant? A little hard to see on this screen, but uh, trust me, it's a 62. So that's the basic system. Uh, the hardware is pretty simple. Um, not all that expensive, perhaps a hundred bucks or so of equipment you'll need, um, and not all that hard to assemble. So uh, I'd encourage you to give it a try.